I'm sorry, Janet, about what I said. Don't be so stupid. Play me instead. No, it's not your fault. I lost my head. Do you still love me? Pass me the bread. A real Italian meal needs a real Italian pasta sauce. Ragu, based on an authentic family recipe for 50 years. Janet, oh, Janet, oh, Janet, oh, Janet, oh, Janet, oh, Janet, oh, oh. Ragu. It brings out the Italian in you. Comedy Line presents the answer machine that stunned the UK. Dare you listen? Ring 0898 44 2000 now. Remember when we compared Fairy to four of the other best known washing up liquids in the country? And remember, we found it did all this extra washing up. Well, it doesn't do this much extra anymore. Why? Because it's been improved. It now lasts even longer. So, one small bottle now does even more. All this much more. In fact, enough for the home team and the visitors. So now it's even better value. Fair has always been the best, but now the best is even better than ever. Everyone knows these men have to look clean and play dirty. So we asked them to put their whites through the roughest, toughest test. Stains which were ground in, crushed in, soaked in, and then on a two-hour march, dried in. These impossible stains were put into combat against an ordinary biological powder and aerial. Look close up at these fibers. An ordinary biological powder can't cope with this soaked-in stain. But aerial, even at low temperatures, removes the ground-in dirt. A very important person came the next day and passed every uniform washed in aerial with flying colors. Because even after the toughest stain test, aerial got the clothes not just nearly clean, but really clean. Getting the OK to a loan outside banking hours can be tricky. Of course, if you bank with Gyro Bank, you can arrange a loan by phone up to 8 at night, Monday to Friday, and on Saturday mornings. Gyro Bank, a bank with fewer hold-ups. You're watching Thames from London. And now, with the time just after four o'clock, we interrupt our movie to join Zaina Badawi at the studios of ITN for the latest news headlines. Reports are coming in from South America of fighting in Paraguay's capital city, Asuncion. Tanks are reported to have opened fire on the central police headquarters in what's thought to be a rebellion against the government of President Alfredo Stroessner. He's been in power for 34 years. It's thought he's being challenged by Paraguay's most powerful military figure, General Andres Rodriguez. The Princess of Wales has faced an angry demonstration in New York by protesters calling for an end to British rule in Northern Ireland. The princess was met by the mayor of New York, Edward Koch, when she arrived at the Brooklyn Academy to watch the Welsh National Opera perform Verdi's Falstaff. Before the performance started, the princess, accompanied by Welsh Secretary Peter Walker, heard the orchestra play God Save the Queen and the Welsh National Anthem. Outside, more than 200 supporters of NORAID, an organisation accused of giving money to the IRA, staged a demonstration calling for an end to British rule in Ireland. They said the royal family symbolised that rule. The protesters urged Mayor Koch to pass on their views to the princess. She has nothing to do with the policy of her country. I happen uh, to agree uh, with uh, those who believe uh, that the British ultimately should leave Ireland. I believe that. Brits out of uh, Ireland is something that I uh, support. I do not support the IRA terrorists, which regrettably some people do. The demonstration was the only sour note on a day when cheering New York crowds had welcomed the royal visitor they called the fairy tale princess. 
Former Prime Minister Edward Heath has led a Commons revolt of 18 Tory backbenchers in a vote over the new official secrets bill. But the Labour proposal that civil servants should have the right to leak secrets in the public interest was still defeated by 88 votes. Mr Heath accused the government of leaking information and using the Downing Street press office corruptly. Now its particular problem arises from the fact that it's used its press office at number 10 in a way which uh, can be described as corrupt, which went far beyond not only the achievements but even the aspirations of any other previous government. That's it. We're back at two minutes past five with the morning news. Now we rejoin our star movie, The Cane Mutiny. Doctor, may I ask you...